I was I was born on this country, that is Darug country. I was born in Blackdown. Uh, my Aboriginal genealogy goes back to mid North Coast, New South Wales, where my grandmother was born under a tree in Jerseyville. My old people before her were on the banks of the Bellinger River, but around 1900 they were evicted from that land. And so as I became older and wiser and began to understand my family history, seeing one that looked like this, that's the black fella, mum's the white fella, up north the black fella called me yellow fella. <laughs> I started to learn quickly it's not about the colour of this one, but it's what you draw from the old people and then what you give out here. And so I learned some very important things having grown up with my mum's family in the city when I first went back to the old people's country in Kempsey, um, Gaddy country. And I learned some very special things. But at the time I was a bit confused, like most adolescent boys. And so um, as a young Adam Hill, I was keen to embrace my cultural heritage. And as a Koori boy who grew up in Western Sydney, I thought that was by playing the didgeridoo. And so I asked my dad, Dad, can you teach me to play the didgeridoo because you're a black fella? And Dad said, well, our people never played it in Kempsey. So there's only two ways you can learn to play it. You can go off to where it actually originated from, in Northeast Arnhem Land, Northern Territory, and learn to play from the Yoma people, or you can go to Circular Key on the weekend. <laughs> So I went to Circular Key and the weekend, I wasn't satisfied. <laughs> it's a good player there, but I wanted to learn the proper one. So just to outline where I'm talking about, I have this beautiful map, which many of you may have seen by now. And um, so what I always impress on the kids that I work with in school is that, um, as you probably, most, most of you probably know, that we live in a kind of a white light, and that before my mother's father's 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 people came here in uh, 223 years ago and sailed into the east coast of Sydney Harbour and stuck up one flag and called the biggest island on the continent one name, I asked my dad, um, did my mum's family ask your father's 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 son, Ken, people permission to do so. Anybody know the answer? Uh, that's right. So we're still going to ask that question today. But I'm not going to focus on the half point. I'm going to open with a very important cultural tradition. And that is, would you all please be complacent for the Australia National Anthem? <laughs> Australians all let us remorse for we are blind, can't see We golden soil that we all spoil Our home washes into sea Our land abounds in racist gifts Of whom we really can't bear In history's case, recompense The slaves to Australians really care in painful strains that left us sting, do Australians really care? 